Hey everyone, hope you are doing well. This is Rishabh from Ascending Techie and today we are going to talk about Ratio Launcher from Block. To get the launcher, go to their website block.com, enter your email address and they will mail you a link to download the APK. It will be out of beta soon, after which you will be able to get it from the Play Store. Back to the launcher. Ratio is a very unique launcher that stands apart from a majority of the launchers that you are familiar with. The monochrome-ish theme, a unique minimalistic interface with drawers and the root panel contribute to give you a unique experience different than what you are used to which tries to reduce the number of times you have to open apps especially for minor tasks like taking notes, Spotify, calculator, timer and whatnot. Let's talk about the drawer panel first. Ratio will auto categorize apps for you into drawers and you can delete the ones that you don't want to have up there. The rest of the apps remain in the app box. You will also get to see your usage time up here. You can long pull to open and close all drawers. And a short pull will open the recent drawers. Long press on an app to open its info, see usage, change icons, change highlight set rotation and custom brightness. You can also lock the app using fingerprint. You can also mute the apps by default, hide them or expand them in the drawer. As of now, block lines is the only icon pack you can use. I hope the ability to use other icon packs is added in the future. Vicons is a very good alternate to this theme pack. Next, we have the root panel. The root panel is like a widget section allowing you to quickly do small tasks instead of going to the apps. On the bottom, you have various suggestions. Tap the one that you want, for example, timer and you can quickly set one from here. The widget will even stay here if you want to use it again. If you don't, just hold on the left side and delete them. You can also pin them to the top if you want them to persist and slide to the right to remove them. Very neat. There's some issue with using Google as your default for now where it will give an error for weather. So I kept it to quant and it doesn't make any difference and can be fixed in the future. Then there's this often overlooked and underrated feature which is also present in this launcher, the search bar. But you'll ask what's different about it. In the drawer panel, it's used only to search for an app, nothing else. No clutter and the app result is on the bottom so you can quickly open it instead of reaching to the top. In the root panel, you can use it to give a command or to search for something. If Google is set as your search engine, the query will switch you to Chrome but if it is on Quant, you will get a card for it right here. The only thing I don't like about this card is the huge name that it puts up there like a in your face thing. Last is the tree panel on the right. It's like a communication hub where all your messages from all the apps you use are in one place. Its beta will start on this 15th and I'll put my referral link in the description as soon as it is available. So what am I using this with? I'm using this with Havoc OS 3.9, Android 10 along with Sync kernel. Does ratio affect battery? Not on my device. OLED screens would benefit with the dark mode because of less pixels being lit up. It has a desktop companion called Block Desk from where you can also install Ratio and you can also sync your photos and videos, access your device files in real time as well as sync your notes. That's been it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, be kind to everyone.